Welcome to the marvelous PP Islands. This dream destination boasts stunning fine sand beaches and is perhaps most recognizable by the limestone archipelagos that jut out of the turquoise waters. My boyfriend and I took a day trip here from Phuket and we loved the tour company we went with. In this video, I'm bringing you along to show you everything that this tour had to offer in case you're interested in visiting these islands one day. There's a lot to explore, so let's get into it. The tour company we went with picked us up by bus from our hotel at 5.30 a.m. and drove us to the dock where we boarded our boat after eating breakfast. We sat in the front of the boat not realizing those were the bumpiest seats. I thought I was gonna fall off so many times, but after an exhilarating hour on the speedboat, we finally approached our first destination, the absolutely gorgeous Maya Bay. This beach is incredibly popular thanks to Leonardo DiCaprio's movie, The Beach, which was filmed here in the year 2000. As you disembark from your boat, you'll run into several other tour groups arriving and heading to the same spot. And like with most tourist attractions, the earlier you can get here, the better chance you have of beating the crowds. One thing I really liked about our tour is that the guides always provided us with plenty of snacks and food so we weren't hungry throughout the day. At Maya Bay, they gave us a beach mat and a light snack of tea, banana bread, and mango sticky rice while we admired the view. If you're wondering why no one's in the water, it's because there were baby sharks swimming around and so swimming was prohibited in order to protect them. But luckily, this tour gave us plenty of other opportunities to get into the water. After leaving Maya Bay, we got back on the boat and saw a bit more of the surrounding islands. The tour guides were knowledgeable and explained everything we saw along the way. Eventually, we made it to our first snorkeling destination, where you could swim around on your own or follow the guide that was pointing out the different types of fish. There's two snorkeling locations on this excursion. We just finished the first one, which is why I have this line on my face, but it was really fun. I saw squid for the first time and I got to actually feed the fish. So I felt them like nibbling on my fingers, which is really fun. Um, but we are now at the second location. So we'll see if there's anything different over here. So I just finished the second snorkeling location and it was really fun. It was similar to the first one. But this time I got to hold a puffer fish and I didn't have my camera on me, so I don't have proof, but it was all the way puffed up and it was like really soft and squishy. So that was fun. After snorkeling, we had another snack, which was these fresh spring rolls. And then we continued along on the tour. Thailand has lots of monkeys. So of course the tour would be incomplete if we didn't get to visit with some. At this quick stop, the guides would toss bananas to them and they would jump off of the rock into the water to catch them. 
These monkeys are long-tailed macaques. Yeah. They die for banana, but not for apple. <laughs> yes, they are a good swimmer. They can die in uh, three minutes. They can hold the breath. We also got to go swimming in a cove that you can only get to when the tide is at the right levels. The water was super clear and it felt so refreshing. We've made it to our last stop of the day. So as I said, this is the last stop on the excursion. This feels more like a little sandbar. It's like a small island. There's a bar, there's bathrooms, and people are, you know, swimming, um, drinking, doing whatever. I took this as an opportunity to get some sweet and cold, fresh coconut water. In Thailand, coconuts are very affordable, and this one tasted great. So all in all, I have really enjoyed this tour. I'll definitely leave a link to it in the description box below. It was one of the pricier ones, but I think it is definitely worth the, the cost. The service has been great. We've done everything that I wanted to do and I've had a great time. Caleb has had a great time too. So definitely would recommend this tour. By the end of the day, there is nothing left to do but sit back and enjoy my coconut. Before long, we headed back to the dock where a delicious all-you-can-eat lunch was waiting for us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or discovered something new, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think of the PP Islands in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more exploration inspiration and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!